Good afternoon, Captains. I'm Haley Tavis. And I'm Noah Dooley. Today is Tuesday, October 20th, and we're coming to you with another edition of WK Today. Senior pictures for the yearbook are due October 30th. Pictures can be turned into the main office or to Ms. Grossnickel. Make sure to include your name with the picture. If any students have old Halloween pictures of your friends and family, please come by and drop them off in room 501. Waterford Drift is having a contest for the Q's picture. Winners will receive a DIY gift, and pictures are due by October 26th. All photographs submitted must include first and last name, grade, and year photo was taken. Make sure to check the Drift for daily updates about this contest at waterforddrift.com. In the local news, Mayor Mike Duggan and other community leaders of Detroit are expected to break ground on a new project happening. The project is called Orleans Landing. It will cost nearly $65 million to create new retail and residential development along mm. Detroit's riverfront. Orleans Landing will feature more than 250 apartments with 20% of them being affordable income housing, in addition to 10,000 feet of retail shops. Now for some national news. According to CNN, current Vice President Joe Biden seems to be preparing to throw his hat in the ring for the 2016 presidential election. If he does decide to run, he will run as a Democrat. Donald Trump continues to stay in the news, this time by saying the U.S. was right to invade Afghanistan after the September 11th attacks in 2001. The only problem was, is that about a month ago, he called, a war, called the war a mistake. Enough about Trump. I've got something better. The Chocolate Milk Mile is a race where racers must drink a solo cup of chocolate milk before every lap. The Chocolate Milk Mile is happening this Friday, this Friday October 23rd at the Pierce Track at 5 p.m. Admission is $5 and must be paid to the cross-country team by Wednesday. Students Leading Students is hosting an ice cream social for potential new members on Monday, October 26, after school in the LGI. If you are interested in making a difference in your school and community, join us at our meeting on Monday. Now over to Ajay for sports. Students interested in being on the Waterford United Ski Team should see Mrs. Jackson in the athletic office for more information and to sign up as soon as possible. A competitive cheer team tryouts will be Thursday, November 12th from 5 to 9 p.m. and Friday, November 13th from 3 to 6 p.m. Both days are in the North Gym. A sports physical date of April 15, 2015 or after and a signed concussion information form are required on November 12th to participate. Now back over to Noah at the news desk. Thanks, Ajay. Seniors, senior quotes are due by October 30th. We are doing them online at www.wsdmi.org forward slash senior quotes. In 2015, we live in a society where we have to worry about school safety. It may be sad, but it is reality. Let's take a look at what Kettering is, to, is doing to make sure we stay safe. We at WK Today wanted to take a further look into the security at our school. The staff has been trained, uh, what's called ALICE training. And ALICE is uh, a concept of a lockdown, but it also has an evacuation mode as well as um, uh, confrontation with that uh, concept instead of just doing a, a, a formal lockdown procedure that we've done in the past for many years um, it's given the teachers and staff uh, training that if there's a situation in the building that you can evacuate students also um, studies have shown from past incidences of, of school related uh, violence that staying in the building is maybe not the best choice there's options of, of evacuating the building also so it's going to be something that's hopefully beneficial. Hope we never need it, but it's there if, we, if a situation occurs. Safety and security is a huge priority for our public schools nationwide. Um, one of the biggest things is, is keeping a, a very secure environment where students can learn and feel safe. Some specifics that we do, you'll see all staff members have badges on them. You know, um, every Kettering or Waterford staff member should be carrying ID and it should be on them at all time. Some people have it hanging from their, you know, their, their necks, but it's meant actually for the uh, security uh, swipe cards where you can actually limit the access of who comes in and out of the building. When we're open at uh, school hours, this is the only entrance that you can really gain entrance in or is supposed to be out. Um, you see most public schools, especially high schools, have a police liaison. We're lucky to have Officer Golda from the Waterford Township Police Department here. And then we have people like Mr. Helm that work on our parking lot, monitoring who comes in and who comes out every day at Kettering High School. As you can see, our school is pretty secure and I don't think we have anything to worry about. And staff feel safe here. Be sure to check out the Waterford Drift 
Be sure to check out the school website, Water for Drift, for recent Twitter and Instagram posts, latest music, weather updates, daily news, feature posts, podcasts, photo albums, and upcoming information. Well, that's all we have for you today, Captains. Once again, I'm Noah Dooley. And I'm Haley Tavis. Have a great rest of your day, Captains. I am just hopeful that my signal is getting out of this hour. I'm coming to you live from the Erebus Haunted House, downtown Pontiac, the world's largest, according to Guinness. And I've been trapped for what seems like hours here in this amazing four-floor maze. The feeling in here is intense. It's... <laughs>